Whoa! Dinky, look! It's a baby! Hi, everybody! Hi, everybody. So, here, we have toys and pacifiers in case he wants to wake up, huh? You want that? You want that? Okay, there you go. You want that one? Yeah. Oh, Happy yeah. Mother's Day to all you wonderful mothers out there. We are so thankful for everything you do for your family. It yeah. doesn't go unnoticed. Yes. Happy Mother's Day, Mom, and all you awesome moms out there, especially you. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Huh? Happy Mother's Day to moms. Uh, uh, he was taking a nap, but he decided to join us. Yeah? You show him. Show him. But uh, we did this, I think, last year. Um, I asked Heather some questions about being a mom because I know nothing about it. Um, there's, a, <laughs> so there's some things that go on that I just can't do anything about and I don't know anything about. And so I wanted to ask you about these things. Um, first off, let me ask you this. What is it like having three boys, well, four if you include myself, four <laughs> boys to raise, raise, feed, teach, and take care of your white bottoms, not mine, but <laughs> what's that like? Um, it is definitely never a dull moment <laughs> in our house. Um, whether it's basketball or football or asking everyone not to hit the chandelier. Huh. <laughs> um, it, I'm constantly at the grocery store or cooking, um, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I'm so thankful um, for all of you, and it is so fun. It is hard work, but it is so worth it. <laughs> he likes Yay, it. Yay, Mom. Yay, Mom. Well, that's good uh, because we haven't broken anything yet. Not yet. Hopefully we don't, yes. um, but that's a good thing. Uh, I know in my house growing up, sorry mom, uh, we broke lots of things and more times than not, my dad was involved. So I'm trying my best uh, to not break anything. Uh, that's for sure. That would sure. be nice. I'll be very thankful. I'm trying. It's, I have no promises. We got plastic baseboards so that we couldn't break those <laughs> and chip those. Um, that's, that was a good move for us because of this guy. <laughs> Mind you, he's only, he's not even a year yet. He'll be a year. In, next week? Next week? Mm -hmm. Is it next week already? Yeah. Next week he'll be a year old and he's already ready to start at the three technique uh, for us <laughs> on the Raiders. Um, but uh, this is perfect. We didn't ask our kids to be quiet or anything. So if they're running around, this is, Real the, life. This is the point. <laughs> hey. um, during all of this COVID-19 stuff and all that, you've had to play mom, you've had to play wife, you've had to put on your teacher hat, which thank goodness you went to school for. Um, you've had, you're a kindergarten teacher, you're a preschool teacher, um, you are a daycare person, um, <laughs> uh, you're a nanny to me, um, <laughs> and take care of me. Um, well, how are you doing it? Like, through all of this, teaching the kids and all that, I know there's people on here, uh, moms and all that, that are teaching their kids. Thank goodness our kids' math isn't too hard yet. <laughs> yes. Uh, but how are you doing that? Um, yeah, I think that it it is definitely hard, um, you know, just getting them to listen to you because they're not used to you being their teacher. Um, but really, it is just so much, I have so much respect for our teachers and how much work and effort they're even putting in because they're having to make videos every day on YouTube and just all the work. It's much harder, you know, being at home for them because they're not with the students all the time. So it's just hats off to them. We're just so thankful for our awesome teachers and then for the awesome parents that are really putting in the time and effort to educate their kids and spending that time. I know it's tough, um, but in light of everything, we are so blessed and I can't imagine what people are facing right now with all the COVID stuff. So uh, we're praying that it ends soon and that for all those families that have been affected by it, um, we're just praying for comfort and healing um, and that all of this will be over soon. No doubt. And um, yeah, we understand that people are going through things and all of that kind of stuff and it is tough. Um, so honestly, we brought him to make everyone smile and feel better. <laughs> uh, you can put him down if he wants to go get that thing. Uh, but with that said, uh, you also have to be a cook because there's only one person in the house that knows how to cook. I can cook, but I only know how to make uh, a mean pasta. You do make great spaghetti. Great spaghetti. I can do breakfast. You could have that every night. I can also, I can, I'm very good at picking up food. 
Um, <laughs> DoorDash is your friend. I'm really good at DoorDash on my phone. Uh, Uber Eats, all of those things, Grubhub, oh, et cetera. I'm awesome <laughs> at doing that. Uh, but how do you manage this? Mama. Like, like, how do you deal with this little one, the two older boys? Like, how did you get, I guess my question is, how did you get the older boys to help out so much? Like, how do you get, mm -hmm. um, cause it's all you. And, uh, and all those things. How do you do all that while managing to cook dinner and feed us and take care of and make sure? Because right. we haven't skipped a beat, literally at all. And like, he's amazing. <laughs> Our other boys are amazing. How do you do it? Because you're the best. Thank you. Um, really, I think um, our boys are, our big boys are a great age. They're six and four and they want to help. So um, I really, they unload the dishwasher for me. They um, make their beds. They clean up their toys. You know, they get themselves showered. They help me with dinner. They're just very helpful. And I think they're a fun age because they want to help mom right now. So whether it's helping with Deacon or helping me in the kitchen, I think that it is so important as a mom to make sure that you're setting your kids up for success in the future. And so I hope one day all of their wives thank me <laughs> for teaching them to do all this. So Yes, well, um, uh, I'm thankful for you. Um, <laughs> that's for sure. Because uh, when this guy is not happy, he's a very, as you can tell, strong one. <laughs> Um, but He's got yeah. a mean screen. He does have a mean <laughs> screen. But I will say this. Uh, I have another random question for you. Yes. Who puts Deacon to bed easiest? Daddy. Ooh. Because with Mommy, he knows that I will just pick him up and we will not. <laughs> but with Daddy, once he I'm gets him, him to sleep. Once I put him down, he knows he's not getting back <laughs> up. So he just gives up. I mean, it's hard because he says, Mama, how do you not pick that up? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> And he, he said, my, he got so upset one time that he finally said my name and I couldn't help myself. So I went there, look, you can sit. <gasps> what? Look at you, big guy. What the heck? Hi, well, everybody. let me ask you this. Something, because you come from amazing parents and you're the only child. What is some things that you learned from your mom that help you today, um, you know, to help, you know, Dallas Decker and Deacon? Yeah, I think that, um... Well, I mean, my mom always, you know, want, help, had me make my bed, you know, do chores, help in the kitchen. I think all that is helpful, but really she always had fun with me. You know, my parents always um, took the time to hang out with me and, you know, I just, they played with me and I was the only child. So, I mean, they didn't have brothers and sisters to play with and they were always yeah. playing with me and, you know, taking the time to show me that love. And, and so I think that, and I think it's, you know, you want to go get that? I think that it is important to not take life too seriously. Have fun with it. Your kids are only this little once. It might be chaotic now, but enjoy them because they will all grow up. No doubt. And so like you said, you're the only child. Um, I was the youngest of three, so uh, I was the most important, obviously, <laughs> because they kept getting it wrong with the first two. Um, what are their names? David and Darren. <laughs> Uh, so then they had me because they're like, man, we're done now. We finally got it right. Thank you, Lord, for near perfection. <laughs> Here he is. And so uh, I think it's very important, though, something that you said is uh, even though they're young and we treat them with the utmost respect and have the most fun and play with them, lay on the floor, let them be superheroes. I mean, we let our kid get dressed up as Thor with a helmet and a cape and do his Zoom meetings with his teachers. Like we, we make sure he has a great time, but we also have responsibilities for him, you know, because uh, it would be really hard for them when I believe they get to 16, 17, 18 years old and they have coaches or they have teachers and they have people telling them no, or, or a boss down the road saying, now you gotta do it like this. And they're like, you get taken back and like, what? Why do I have to do that? Why, why is there a responsibility? Or when we send them off to college someday, hopefully they're at UNLV and they can just live with us still. <laughs> nice and close. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but maybe they wanna go to a college somewhere that's not close here. And we have to trust that they're gonna pay their bills, that right. they're gonna, you know, all of those things. And uh, I was blessed obviously to have parents and brothers that you know, kept me in line. And mom, uh, you know, shout out to you on this Mother's Day. Um, I remember you obviously helping me and teaching me to sing, which I cannot do. <laughs> You've um, been practicing. I've that. been practicing. I'm getting, getting better. I'm getting better. I'm a, I'm a mean karaoke singer. 
<laughs> oh, ooh, buddy, I'll crush that. Uh, but mom, I just want to say thank you because you left a legacy in my life. Um, just like I know Heather's mom does and, and she does for our boys that I would wake up every morning and you'd be you know, laying on your knees on the side of the bed praying for me and I could hear you praying for me and praying for my brothers and praying for family members and praying for everybody and it just taught me uh, a way of intercession and praying for people that you love and the Bible says that God loves when we pray for others and man does he love you <laughs> I know that and so uh, thank you for leaving uh, that standard or setting that standard for us um, that we can teach our boys and that we can hopefully leave a legacy uh, for them that they could even maybe be on YouTube or probably at some point some holographic tube thing uh, <laughs> telling people uh, that we left a good legacy for them. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, thank you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day, Grandmother. Happy Mother's Day, Melody, Shanna, mm -hmm. Auntie Pan, Auntie, Auntie Laura, everybody. Uh, all of you, there's so many people in our family. I'm not going to say them all because I don't want to forget them. Uh, uh, just happy Mother's Day. Thank you guys so much uh, for loving us, um, helping us become the people that we are today. Uh, as we definitely know, it takes a village to raise a child. So... Um, <laughs> Uh, thank you uh, for anyone who impacted our lives. Uh, we love you. Um, thankful for you. I hope you have a blessed Mother's Day. To all you moms uh, out there, uh, or you sons out there, show this to your mom. Maybe it'll encourage Call her. Call her. Don't her. just text her. Call her. Don't just text her. Don't just send a voice message. Like, call her. FaceTime her. It'll mean something. I FaceTimed my mom this morning. She had rollers in her hair. Uh, and she. I wanted to screenshot it so bad and play it on this video today. <laughs> Uh, but you know, just FaceTime her. It means everything to her. She, for her to answer the phone with the way that she was dressed and looked at that moment <laughs> means it meant a lot to her. So on behalf of Dallas Decker, Deacon, uh, Heather and myself, happy mother's day yes. from the Carr family. Uh, we love you guys and we just pray, uh, God's favor and blessings over you guys today for you moms. Uh, you know, that, uh, we understand that people, there are some moms out there going through some hard times um, where their kids may not even FaceTime or, or call them. Uh, don't, don't give up. Keep praying. Keep pressing in. Forgive. Uh, love one another. Life is short. Uh, we see it every day uh, with people that we know. Life is very short. Uh, we love you guys. Uh, again, hopefully we'll see you guys soon. And obviously the views on this video will probably go up because she's hot. So. <laughs> love you guys. Bye, everyone.